The demands for water from the Big River in the southwestern United States are increasing. As agriculture and urban areas expand, researchers from New Mexico State University and Texas A&M are using the USDA-funded Rio Grande Basin Initiative to respond to challenges. My research and involvement with the Rio Grande Basin Initiative has been seeking ways that we could share agricultural water with the environment. David Cowley's innovative project aims to help farms and fish coexist in this arid environment. The Rio Grande silvery minnow is an endangered species. During dry years, irrigation and urban diversions dry up this critical habitat, and silvery minnows get stranded in isolated pools, and if they get too hot in the afternoon, they die. And so the purpose of this project is to provide a wetted habitat that fish can seek out and go to as the river starts to decline and maybe give the, the government agencies time to come in and rescue minnows a little more effectively. The habitat is created by recycling natural materials. We have installed dead cottonwood trees that we tipped over and then buried the trunk in the riverbank here so the root wad directs and deflects the water flow so that you get scour. We're attempting to scour out a trough basically or a deeper channel that later in the summer when we begin to dry up the river channel we can bring water into this scoured trough and keep a wetted habitat for the silvery minnow and other native fishes. To bring water to the troughs, the researchers use return flows, irrigation canals that take excess water from farms back to the river. They'll test this simple solution by monitoring fish populations over the next few years. So this is an attempt to find a win-win solution where agriculture can benefit, farmers can get their water, and the return flows can be used to, to maybe mitigate some of the damage to this endangered species. In Belen, New Mexico, for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Pat O'Leary.